Nice brother, man. Oh, no. Man. Tell me about it. I, I, can, I can already hear upstairs. How long are you going to be? <laughs> So tell her you're playing the Champions League again. You're playing the Champions League final again. And now she knows when I'm on the phone when it's about football. Yeah. They quiet, they quiet. <laughs> yeah, no, so so yeah, so I was I was a bit gutted with myself for agreeing to sit out on the biggest match of our careers. Yeah. You know, Champions League final. But ah, like I said, it's it's a, it was a team effort. We all worked hard to get there and, and Nisha. If he wasn't injured, he would have played. So myself, it would have been myself and Dale or Dale or Carlos Alberto. So it would have been one of the three. You understand? Yeah. So we were all, everyone was good. So unfortunately, I was the one that was sacrificed in the yeah. final. And yeah, 3-0 um, no up. Yeah. Uh, 78 minutes to go. And then, yeah. you know. So we all we all looking so we three 0 up and we're winning and the celebrations had began. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, listen, if this dude don't put me on like he said, I don't care if it's ten 0 no, I want to get onto that pitch, mate. I played every day to get us to the final. So yeah. then I see, you know, he's 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 he's, he's standing, he's, he's talking there, and he's looking over to the bench to see, okay, who's he gonna pick up? And I see Jose Bozingua. Because yeah. you know, he's fiddling here with the boots. So I clock, I clock Mourinho in the corner of my eye. So I see, I said, I'm ready, mister. <laughs> so he was, he was gonna, he was gonna take off a midfielder. Yeah. I think he was taking off Pedro Mendes, Pedro yeah. Mendes to bring on um, another midfielder, Bozingua. So, yeah. but Zay was fiddling with his boots, you know, that was when you, when you lose focus, you lose concentration. Me, I'm yeah. spot on. Eyes on the goals, but <laughs> eyes on the prize also. I'm getting yeah. on the pitch. So then I just see Mourinho clocks him and, and I say, hey, I'm ready. And he's like <laughs> looking to say like, shit. I did say to Benny, like, you know, I'm playing. And he says, okay, come, come, come. I said, yeah, I said, come, come. I said, no, I'm ready. Don't need to go warm up. I'm ready. <laughs> so he says, you sure? He says, Rui. So he says to Rui Faria, um, warm up. I said, Rui, sit down. I'm ready. I've been warming up my I've been I've been flying down that line for the whole the last thirty minutes, mate, because I know I'm gonna I'm getting in. I'm yeah. forcing my way onto that pitch. So then Maria says, Okay, come. So then now he's taking off Pedro Mendes yeah. and he has to bring in now another striker and he's thinking, ah, listen, Benny it's okay. he says, Come. So I was like, Yeah, come, I'm on. Then then eventually I went on and oh when he just on that uh, you on that pitch we 3 nil up and we're toying with Monaco now we're toying yeah. with them and I'm thinking you guys keep toying you pass me the ball I'm going on a move I'm going on a heavy solo run yeah and I'm going for goals because my name gets my name is when you see Porto won the Champions League Benny McCarthy on the score sheet son. <laughs> I'm on the score sheet. I'm not here to be toying and not making people and fun. Ole, 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 ball in the back of the net. So, yes, I was, I was running at people. Pass me the ball. Pass me the ball. Give it to me. Give it to me. When I get it, I just said, blinkers on. <laughs> Solo runs. And I said, Benny, come on, man. Let's play. I said, hey, let me get my goal and then we play. So, yeah, but, you know, time was against me because it was like, 11, 12 minutes left. Yeah, time. yeah. But you know, it was it was amazing. It was just just to, just to even be part of it. You know, of course. You got we, you got the team there. We got there, and like the biggest prize in in in, in club football. And yeah, yeah we, were, we were on the brink of of winning that. So so for me, I was like, oh, kid from the Cape Flats, you know. Yeah, and of course. Champions League. So way. yeah. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Now you punk that told me I wasn't gonna make it. So yeah. <laughs> so then, Benny, you hear the final whistle. So then you're you're a Champions League winner. What what what's that feeling? What what's going on in your in your head in your heart? What's happening? Mate, we couldn't we we couldn't believe we couldn't believe and every everyone's just like people are running they running crazy. I'm talking about mad all over we all over and. You know, you don't even know what kind of celebrations you want to do. You, yeah. It's just that confusion. Like, you can't believe, oh my God, I'm 
it there and then this one jumps You're frozen. You're over. frozen, Benny. You know? <laughs> That's literally exactly what happens when you win the Champions League final. You froze literally. So... <laughs> <laughs> So, so yeah, so no, so, um, you know, everything went well and I ran and then eventually came and then Mourinho came. So he had a chat, like he says to me, listen, thanks so much, you know, thanks so mm -hmm. much for everything. Like since he, since he came to the club, I arrived, we arrived basically at the same time. And yeah. I, was, I was like such an amazing, huge part of him starting his career and starting him off but this is the end of the road for him yeah um, he's he signed a pre-contract with chelsea so he'll be leaving porto at the end and i was like oh my god wow. hearts up because now it's gonna go back to back to the olden days yeah i had a yeah. manager who believed in me who believed in the players and what we were doing you know so now to go back and then start off with a new guy and then i was like, yeah okay now cool mister and then then he dropped it. He's like, of course, you know, I want to take my players. I want to take my players with me that, that, that I brought in. So mm -hmm. you, you and Carvalho, uh, Paulo, uh, Manich and Deco. I said, oh. he said, my name I said, I'm going to And I was, I, was, I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. You know, now the champions, winning the Champions League, it just became even better because... Mourinho just told me that he wants to take me with him, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, and I, I'm pressing my agent. So, you know, the celebrations, and I'm sitting in the corner texting my agent. I said, hey, listen, <laughs> more. What, this is a Champions League final after the yes, game? Yes, this is after the final, mate. We all have wow. celebrations. I'm saying, I said, listen, um, uh, coach, coach just told me that he's going to Chelsea. But don't say to nobody because I don't think people are supposed to know. <laughs> but don't say to no one. But he said he wants to. He, he, he's gonna take me. He's he, he's taking me. So press him. That he press him on his case. He mustn't yeah. forget me now that he's going to Chelsea. You know. <laughs> so so then that was that. We get back to Porto and and oh my God, I've never seen a celebration like that. Yeah. The scariest celebration I've ever been part of. Like, Porto, from Porto Airport to Porto Stadium. It's a, a good 15, 20 minutes drive. Yeah. It took us six hours. <laughs> it, took, it, it took us six hours to get from the airport to the stadium. The streets wow. were packed. Jam wow. packed. I mean, people <sighs> like... We arrived, we arrived at, I think, six, six, five o'clock, just before six in the morning. Yeah. From, from Germany. So we arrived. The airport was jam-packed. So we took, we took about 45 minutes to get out the airport, just from the plane onto the bus. And the bus was on the runway. We couldn't oh, even, we, it took us 45 minutes. The runways, they let, they probably let people in there. And yeah. It was scary. It was creepy. And then you, you, you drive in, you drive in down the streets, you know, like to the stadium and just says, like just a heat wave, a wave of people, like full yeah. and pack. And now it's early morning. It's yeah. early morning. And you know, like, you know, we, we're not even tired from no sleep and just celebrations and nothing. And you're coming down the street and that's, so that's when we were like, oh, so these are what the rock stars, what the rock stars go through. People were flashing us from the windows. And we like, nice. Oh, it was, it was amazing. It was, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. We were, wow. we were in our element. We were in our element and, and we were on top of the world, mate. We were best team in Europe. Best team in Europe. So Yeah. So that's, that was amazing. That was crazy. unbelievable. So then you end up spending what two more years at Porto after that? Yeah, so then eventually Mourinho did come. He, yeah. he wasn't lying. So he did he did try to get us and I think the bitterness, the bitter feel between Porto and himself, you know, yeah, yeah. that he left. Porto wanted him to stay another season. Yeah, and he already had a pre-contract with, with with Chelsea, so there was a bit of a 
uh, a bitter taste like the yeah, fans the fans caused a bit of havoc and threatened like threatening messages to his family yeah and that and then I think it, it ended a bit sour yeah so Porto then were reluctant to sell players to him so yeah. now they're gonna spite him they ain't selling players so obviously now his agent George Mendes was yeah. George Mendes and George Mendes is a good uh, good good friend of the president. Yeah. So, and Paulo Ferreira and Ricardo Carvalho is also managed by George Mendes. Right. So they're in the same camp. So Yeah, managed to get and them out. Porto, Porto just didn't want to. So George said that he will cut all ties with Porto if they don't let his players go. Oh, wow. Okay. Now it wasn't just a question of he wants this one, he wants that one. It's George's players. So yeah. George won't sell his players. He don't make money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they it's managed by the same. So obviously, so Paulo Ferreira and, and, and Carvalho managed to get out. Yeah. And myself, unfortunately, I wasn't managed by George Mendes. So I was stuck at Porto. Porto didn't stuck. have to sell. And then George Mendes tried to fight to get Deco as well. But then, yeah. Porto, then Porto sold him a dummy. Yeah. So Deco to Barcelona to spite to spite Mourinho and Chelsea. Yeah. So yeah, so when selling Deco to Barcelona and selling Carvalho and Ferreira, Porto didn't need to sell any players anymore. So they, they, made, they made themselves a hefty hundred million on yeah. three players. So it's like mm, a good day in a good day at the office for them. So yeah. Nobody, nobody leaves. Nobody comes. Nobody goes out. They only yeah. bring players in now. So that's it. So my. How do you deal out. with that though? How do you deal with it, Benny? Like knowing that Good. you could have gone to Chelsea. I know you, you're a team that's just won the the Champions League. You, you you've got all that around you. You must be delighted. But then it's weird because then Chelsea want you. You want to go, but then you can't go. Is that hard? Yeah, it, it is tough. It is tough because as much like. Um, it's emotional because you know now you you're not going just to you're going to a much stronger league you're going yeah. to a better league better competition and you're going to a team that competes to win the league to win the title to win the title you know yeah. so it's similar level than Porto but on a higher scale yeah yeah so if the club can't see that kind of ambition as in players and then you know there's something wrong so yeah the but you can understand from from their point of view, they just won the Champions League, and of then course. they're gonna sell all their best players, and then next season they don't they don't even make it to the out of the group stages, so they can't yeah. afford, they can't afford to have that. So yeah, so they also don't want to get rid of all their best players, which yeah. which there you 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 sort of sympathize and you understand from that point of view. But yeah. as a player, you, point of view. you it's a selfish point of view. Yeah. But for me, it's like Chelsea is a it's a bigger team than Porto. It's in a better league than, than the Portuguese league. And I'm going with a coach that I know very well that, yeah. that, that I've played the best football under. So it's a win-win for me yeah. and for the club because they're going to get big money for me as well. Yeah, you know? yeah. They're going to make maybe three times more than what they bought me for. So yeah. I thought that the club would have, you know, like I've, I've done well for them and I was, yeah. uh, was a brilliant servant and I was loyal. So let's, let's show some loyalty to you and, and let, you, let, you, let you be on your way. No, then they helped me there. So yeah, it was tough. And then mm. my, biggest nightmare, my, my biggest nightmare became a reality. I don't get the Chelsea move. Mourinho yeah. leaves, and then Porto goes and get the coach that I had in Spain at Salta Vigo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now how do you deal with that? How do you deal with that? So then, so so I go, I go. Then I, I went, I went to the president. I went straight to the president. I said, Mister President, I don't understand how you could do this. You got me to play for yeah. Porto, thanks to this guy. Now you bring the guy here, and I said, "You don't yeah. want to go." I said, "I want to go, or I quit football. I, I quit. I go back to South Africa. I don't come and play." He said, "Benny, no, easy. We spoke to the coach. We said Benny is the main man here now. Yeah, you get along, or 
the door and he promised us and he said I said I don't care what he <laughs> said I don't care what promises he made he killed my career almost and yeah. now you want me to bring him I said no I ain't playing under this guy yeah. and I wanted to go so I I said I ain't going to come back and bab and you know like all oh, nice talks and blah 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 so then eventually I calmed down and I said listen it doesn't look like I'm fighting a losing battle the club Porto is not reluctant to let me go Yeah so I'm uh, I'm stuck here so eventually the coach comes in the first day so now we're standing there so it's it's myself and Carlos Alberto we sit next to each other yeah so and I, so I've been telling them already all the stories what happens in Spain and how, how I was with this guy so they they also they like had a thing against him you know yeah. what he did to me and because i was a, a, a black player and yeah. now we had like it was myself it was carlos alberto it was nuno espirito santo the yeah. wolf manager, wolf manager. Yeah. so yeah. it was pepe it was um marcel so we had about 9 or 11 like players of yeah. african descent and brazilian so all black players like players of big and I said, yeah he's a racist you see don't like blacks so so it was on so then he come so he, he came in he came in and and he's like hey nice to meet nice to meet and then so he comes he comes in he, he gets to me and he, he looks he stops he looks he looks i said say there mister speak spanish now huh? You can speak Spanish, you can speak I can't hear you properly, Benny. Benny, um, your phone's gone funny. Better? Better now? Yeah, I can hear you, I can hear you, I can hear you, yeah, yeah. So, so then eventually he, he comes in and, he, you know, he makes his introduction to the players, his speech, and then he comes and he shakes the players and, oh, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. He says, oh, Benny. And I says, oh, mister, you can speak Spanish to me now. I'm a Spanish guy. <laughs> I, I mastered my Spanish now, so he says, "Oh, that's very good. That's very nice, old man." And as he goes past me, I say, <laughs> and, "And I, you know, I make that face because you just know a leopard never changes spots. Yeah, never yeah, changes yeah. spots, mate. Yeah. Oh, you're frozen again. <laughs> the, the, the first game, uh, Porto Benfica, the Super Cup, the league winners against the cup winners." So, yeah, starting yeah. line up, we start very good. We win, we win the Super Cup. 1-0. Yeah, oh, nice. First league game. First league game of the season. Boom. I'm demoted to the bench. <laughs> oh my. On the bench. So the first three games I was on the bench. The yeah. fourth, the fifth, the sixth game in the stand. 19 oh, players. Nice. Games. 19 players 19 players it takes and then obviously 18 18 so 18 players on the bench like 11 yeah. starters and and the seven and then the 19th yeah. man is in the stand and I, for four games in a row i was the 19th man and then i just went i said listen i'm no more that that punk player that was at south of yeah Vida. i'm a champions league winner mate You've won absolutely yeah. jack shit in your career, so now I'm gonna tell you a piece of my mind. So I I went to him, and I said I said I said, listen, me and you, we don't have to be friends. Yeah. What you did to me in Spain, that's forgotten now. I'm Champions League winner. You ain't gonna do that shit here with me here at Porto. Completely different. You yeah. keep doing what you do to me you're going to see how those fans are going to turn against you. And yeah. then you're going to see what what will happen because in Spain they don't do it in Portugal. If the team if the team is not doing well, the fans come to the training. The die hard there's oh, like wow. the, the the hardcore fans they come to training yeah. and they beat coaches up and they beat players <laughs> up who don't who don't pull their weight. So I thought okay good me it's out of my control. I'm not playing because he chose not to play me not because yeah. i'm i'm rubbish than than the, the the players that we have i was better than all the players yeah. that we have the strikers we had luis fabiano he was he was bad moment wasn't at his best um yeah. elder postiga came back um yeah. he, he 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 played them ahead of me 
and yeah. he knew that I was a better player. But anyway, so that was his decision. So the team lost. The team, we were we were on a bad <laughs> losing streak, and then we went to Chelsea. We went to Chelsea, Champions League, Stamford Bridge, Mourinho. So, hey, yeah, Mourinho, yeah, nice. You know, the first time we see him after leaving Porto. And again, the president come and said to him, listen, if Benny don't play, then there's going to be problems, you know, because the team hasn't played so well and we're not scoring goals. We're not winning games either. So he's like, no, 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 no. I'm keeping me on. I'm taking Benny. So I go, I'm on the bench for the for the Chelsea game. Yeah. I think 30 minutes gone, two, two no to Chelsea. <laughs> we, we, we scratching our head and we said, oh my God, this is going to be a long day in the office. And then he says, <laughs> then he says uh, Benny, go warm up. I'm like, nah, mister. <laughs> I'm okay. He said, hey, tell Benny he must go warm up. I said, no, I'm okay. Don't go down. I must go warm up to do what? I said, no, I'm going. I'm warming up. I'm all right. <laughs> half time, half time comes. We go in the half time. So I see he gives me, he gives me dagger looks, you know? Yeah. And then, and then his assistant coach come and he says, Benny, you know, like, now you're going to come in and you change the game for us. I said, change the game for us. I said, you should have thought about changing the game for us six games ago when you had this game with them. I haven't played for six games. Now we're 2-0 down against Chelsea. What am I going to do? I'm, 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 I'm not sharp. And that's so now he yeah. wants to play me to humiliate me more. I said, now, nah, if we lose 7-0, I don't want to be part of I was on the bench of the team that lost 7-0 to Chelsea. So I said, no, I said, I'm not going to do it. So I... So then, um, then the sporting director comes in. So obviously they have the chat, and then he comes to me and he says, "Ah, Benny, you know what? Listen, I, I, I understand your feel, your frustrations." I said, "No, you don't understand. You don't understand my frustrations. This guy killed me in Salta Vigo in Spain, and now he's come to Porto to haunt me and he's killing me again. So you don't understand, yeah. you know?" And then he says, "Listen, between me and you, he's not gonna last long." But you, you here to stay. You here to stay. So do it for the club. Do it for us, you know. Come in and, mm -hmm. you know, if you get to play, whatever, whether it's five minutes, you play. He'll be out the door soon, but you'll still be here. You know, so I said, ah. So he said that, and then eventually I changed. Ah, so I changed and I get ready. Not because it was a bad attitude of my side. It was just, it was just history repeating itself. And I could see yeah. where this was going, you know. So it wasn't because I had an attitude or this. But it was just my thing with this coach. So then eventually I get up and he puts me in. And then I was in. I was chasing and chasing. And I said, just out of spitefulness, I hope I score. And five yeah. minutes later, boom, I smack one in. Class, top goal. Top goal. And, I'm <laughs> goal. and, and I go to the bench and I look at him and I just shook my hand and I said, you keep putting me on the bench, my friend. I will, you I will, I will lose. I will make you lose your job. So then we go, and we lose. We lose two one to Chelsea. We lose mm. two one to Chelsea. So then we come back to Porto, and we see about five hundred, five hundred Super Dragons, like the hardcore diehard Porto fans. They yeah. all by the stadium waiting. So now and they protesting like, hey, you know what's going on. The, the team is doing bad. We go from Champions League winning team, the the league's top goal scorer, can't even catch a game in this team. Like what? Shit, coach. They want to speak to the coach and then obviously securities <laughs> and pub. We get out the bus. They said, hey, guys, no one must wait. They said, wait for what? I didn't do nothing. I was a player. So they were going to beat me up. I get, off, I get off the bus and then some of the players started coming and then they... They said, hey, Benny, Benny, Benny. Quality, my friend said, nah, we fight for you. You, you, Portista, you like a real Porto guy, you know? Yeah. This guy don't play you. He killed you in Spain, and now he comes and killed our club. He says, it's not going to happen. We're going to batter him for you. And I just <laughs> laughed, and I said, I said, I, I said nothing. I just, I moved on. I walked, yeah. on, walked to my car, and then some of the players were coming, and then they was like, 
a few a few of the players that they weren't happy. Luis Fabiano, Diego, yeah. like the Brazilian players, they weren't happy with the the attitudes from the Brazilian players, you know. And then, so they got a bit of a sweaty and and a smack your left. They got smacked by a few of the fans, and then, wow. and the and the coach, the coach had to stay in the bus. They couldn't let him eat. <laughs> so then eventually we come. So now. My call, my call it's so funny again, Benny. No, no, no. I said no. no. The police. Are you there? Is it okay? It's it's a bit better. Yeah, hang on. It's just frozen again. Better? Yeah, I can. I can. Yeah, I can. I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, so I thought, hey, this ain't my fight. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. The coach, you make bad decisions. You gotta face the. You gotta face the music. So I'm going, my friend. I have sympathy with no one. You know, he ain't my friend. He keeps me on the bench. He puts me in the stand. So what am I gonna be fighting for him for? I said, bugger off. So I get in my car, nicely drives away. All the fans clapping, Benny, Benny McCarthy. And I was like, love you guys, love you guys. I said, good luck to the coach. And then boom, I went off. I was off. I went home. The next day, the next day I heard they smashed his car. They tried to get, so he was stuck. He was stuck in the bus for four hours. They wow. had to wait for police to come and get him out. And that the fans were going to they were going to they were going to batter him flip so, him out yeah so so that was that that was that and then he got the boot the, um, he got fired yeah. he got fired so i was the happiest player in the changing room um because i was back playing again scoring and yeah. you know we we were flying we were flying we finished second in the league um we got knocked out by psg in the yeah. Champions League, um, so yeah, and then then the, the another season followed, where I was also then we won the league again. We won the league yeah. again with Porto, and I think yeah, that was for me. That was now it was my That's time to, to move on. So then obviously I think I still I still kept in touch with Mourinho, and he says to me, listen, for for me to be able to play for him at Chelsea, I have to come to the Premier League. Porto ain't gonna sell. Porto yeah. ain't selling players to him, you know. Yeah. So they didn't. So I went. To, I said, okay, if if that is the case, if he still wants me, yeah. Then my route to Chelsea has to be. I have to join just a team in England. Yeah, yeah. I have to get to England, and when I'm in England, I do my thing. I prove to him that I'm still that player that he knew that he had. Yeah. So I have to have in a season of my of my life. Then I get a then I get a chance to go to Chelsea, so I said to my agent, yes. "Listen, I don't care where I go, just I just want to yeah. get to England. I want to leave Porto now. Um, yeah, I think it's time for me to, to 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 play in the Premier League. I think I'm ready for Premier League football. Yeah. So my agent, my agent then worked on worked on it, and yeah, Mark Hughes came through, and Mark Hughes said, "Listen, he lost Craig Bellamy to Liverpool." And he's yeah. got cash, he's got money, and he's looking for a striker to come in. And and my agent says to him, listen, I got the perfect guy for you. He's a Porto Champions League winner and blah, blah, blah. And that's so I went in. So I said to my agent, I said, listen, I know the club has paid, you know, they this, but yeah. put, I want to put in my contract that if a Champions League club comes in for me, I don't yeah. want to be stuck. I don't want to be yeah, stuck of because for that, then I stay at Porto. I play Champions League no football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, like, my that's my ambition. You know, I want to, I, I want to, I want to grow. If Blackburn makes it to play Champions League football, I'm happy to stay and I'm yeah. happy to go. But if because Mourinho said, if I'm in England, it's easier to to buy you from an English club than from Porto. Yeah, yeah. So now, so then I said, put a clause in there that. They can sell me. They bought me for two point five or three million yeah. pounds, whatever. But if a team gives ten million, 
I can go yeah. for 10 million. And Blackburn yeah. says, ah, oh, you know, they don't really do that clauses in because Craig Bellamy had something like that and it was a big, because they they want, they want they got 17 million from Liverpool offered and yeah. because Craig Bellamy had like a 9 million clause in, yeah. um, Liverpool said, no, give 9 million and then he goes. So then wow. he ended up leaving for nine million in black yeah. they've made seventeen million. So they don't want to yeah. do that, but they are honest club and they give us our word if you know if it's a great opportunity for the player. So you know we took it like okay. Yeah. Your word is your bond. So I went to Blackburn and I went to work, my man. I went Yeah, to I work. remember that season. That I first went season. To, I went <laughs> to work like Premier League football, you know. I didn't have to learn a new language. I could speak English very, very yeah. well. I'm South African. There's no me adapting to this. I lived in Amsterdam. Amsterdam's winters is freaking cold. So I'm yeah, used yeah. to the cold. And I'm used to when it's winter in South Africa, it rains a lot. So it's wet yeah. and you play on muddy pitches. So I'm used to those conditions. You're so ready. England, yeah. England ain't going to be uh, uh, adapting for me. You know, I'm yeah. in and I get to work straight away. Yeah. So then I, I hit the ground running. First yeah. game, first game, uh, not so well. Away from home, we got Kane of Portsmouth. Yeah. And the second game was Everton at home. Scored on my, deb scored on my home debut and, and it was just, I was on fire. I was Yeah, on, yeah. What I did, what I produced at Porto, I was doing in, in England now. So, yeah, so it was going really well. And that season, I picked up a little injury. So I missed about six or seven games. Yeah. Six or, I, missed, I missed a good few games of the season, you know. So um, last game of the season. So I, I, knew, I knew I was on, I was on, six, on 17. Yeah. I was on 17 and Drogba was on 18. Well, if I can, if I score and I can get, I can catch him. And if we finish with the same, if we both finish on 18, I would win it because I played far lesser games than him. Yeah. No, so I, I could win the, the golden boot. And then last game of the season, I scored one. So I went to 18. And then, yeah, drop by me. froze, Benny. It's gone funny again, the, not the sound. Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so then I thought, you know what? If if I get to 18, I might catch him and um, yeah. I can still win it because I played far lesser games than Drog by that season, you know? So they would probably they would give it to me then. So then, yeah, and then, yeah. Drogba scored two, so he goes from 18 to 20. So, yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> it was a good try. You know, I had a great run. But with that Blackburn team, you know, we were honest team, hardworking guys, like quality, yeah. quality. We were just quality all together, you know, and I yeah. was able to score all them goals. So, it was Surely remarkable. Surely you thought it was just one season, though, Benny. Surely you thought, this is my audition in England. I've scored 18 goals. Mourinho told me to come and get goals. I finished second top goal scorer in a team that I think finished seven. Surely you thought I'd be one season at Blackburn and that'd be me gone. Listen, I think for me, for me, that whole season was like, I needed to, I needed to prove I've always wanted to play in England. So I, 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 I couldn't be, a, I couldn't be a, um, a flop or fail. Yeah. couldn't fail, yeah? Because it's my, that was my destiny. My destiny was to play in England, but the road, my journey took me to Amsterdam, took me to Spain, took me to Portugal before I could get to England. So with all yeah. the experience that I've gained, you know, so now that I was in England, I was going to make the most of it. So that's yeah. why. And I knew if I have, if I have a great season, I might still be in with a chance that uh, Mourinho could come back knocking. And, that, yeah. and that's exactly what happened. Um, he did. He did. He did eventually come. He did come. Um, and then Blackburn, yeah, Blackburn went went back on their word about if a good if a good offer comes, and then eventually the 
the last the last offer that was made was 15 million they made yeah. 15 wow. million pounds 15 million pounds to to blackburn and blackburn said listen they can take the money they can take the money but they're not going to get the same luck like they like they got now they yeah. got Craig Bellamy and he came in and he did well and then they bought me um came in first season i was unbelievable and that the next player they bought they bring in a player they sell me and then it's not going to maybe have the same effect so yeah. then all the money that they that they that the money that they received by selling me it's going to worth it's going to be worth nothing because the club might lose their status because yeah. they lose their goal scorers and that so it's not about the money it's about you know the club for survival and the club wants to stay and they finished in the top 8 so they get yeah. to know for league football and oh no i didn't want to hear nothing i didn't want to hear yeah, that because say. they they said if a champions league club comes and chelsea won the league and they were champions yeah. and now all of a sudden they don't want to let me go yeah, so then oh my god and it was all over again and i was fighting with my with my agent that i wanted to go to chelsea and i wanted to play for mourinho and the club promised that they won't do that and now they go back on their word and all this malaki you know and yeah. just just ride it out just hold on and then you know the club tried to give me a new contract and i was like i'm not it's not about the money yeah yeah i don't want a new contract i just want what you promised you said if a champions league club comes in and now it's a guy a coach that i know very well you know yeah it's champions league football and that and it's a champion the premier league winners so i i want to go there and they yeah. said one more season just give us one more season i'm like not one season or two seasons i want to go to champ to chelsea i want you know yeah they get the money they bought me for 2.5 million and i think yeah. i repaid the club back with uh, oh, with the money you know with the money that that was that, that they that they bought me for so just let me go and let me let me fulfill my ambition let me fulfill that dream of playing for a team that that can win the, the premier league yeah and in the end in the end the transfer window went last day of the, the transfer window and then Mourinho ended up getting Mate, Mateus Kessman yeah 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 because yeah because they couldn't they couldn't seal the deal with me and they got yeah. Kessman in and yeah i'm stuck at blackburn rovers and i think that crushed me broke my heart and yeah so for me like i think just emotionally i was i was beaten yeah you know, yeah yeah I, i was i was drained and i just felt like the world was like everything went against me like yeah you yeah. get an opportunity to go to the premier league with to the premier league champions and you stuck at blackburn rovers you know i love yeah. the club it was amazing i had an amazing time there good friends there yeah. good people there but you know it's when it's when it's bigger and better yeah you had a promise as well you understand and and yeah. what kind of for me as an ambition as an ambitious person what that 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 don't say a lot about me if i'm happy just to yeah. accept a big contract now yeah give me a new contract more money then i'm happy to stay at blackburn and then uh, yeah. what about moving on and and on to bigger and better things you know because of where course. i come from you don't get those kind of opportunities for me being one of the people to have come from cape town to have come from south africa the signal for funny again benny i oh, i yeah, i can again sorry i came back so being from south africa like the privilege and achieving what i've achieved you know like you know the amount of of how we can change the mindset of people in my country you know yeah like one of our own made it to chelsea it's ended up playing in the premier league and chelsea it's it's huge and yeah, yeah they deprived me so yeah i beca- i was i became depressed i went into yeah a depressed mode i was depressed my then Yeah like I was stuck at Blackburn and the more I pushed myself to to get myself back to 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 doing the right thing and playing for Blackburn and playing for the love of it something within me wasn't letting me you know wasn't just yeah. getting to get over the line I was doing my job 
but I wasn't doing my job with a smile that I usually have on my face, with that joy and that passion. It was just, you know, it was just I'm here to do a job, and that was it. Yeah. So yeah, you could see that there was a massive change in my game because I wasn't yeah. playing with that smile on my face. I wasn't as happy as I was, you know, before this yeah. whole Chelsea thing came to light and that, and. For me, it was about principles. About principles. Don't say something that you don't mean. Don't yeah. don't don't cheat me. You know, yeah. I'm 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 an honest guy, and like if if I say this to you, I'm not gonna take my word back and says, ah, no, listen, you've done this, and no, I'm not gonna hold to it. I'm gonna not gonna hold you to that. Like they promised. Don't promise me something because the club has promised me that and that they went back. So to me, that's lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and for me, talk. it was like I couldn't play for people that that lies, that yeah. deceive you like that, and and you know they get you to do one thing, and then when once you've done it good, now they want one more time. Can you do it one more time? It's just gonna keep going over. They're yeah, gonna keep yeah. Promise to you, and it's like it's What's like yeah, happen? because you're the African guy. Yeah. You know, so for me, yeah. I put my foot down, and yeah, and I was just, and I think yeah, and. After that, it, it was it was really hard to get me back to that love yeah. for that because now I knew what what the world was about, what the world was 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 about. You know, people lie to you to get to get the best out of you, and it's yeah. always what they want. It's never what you want. So yeah, or what you've agreed. And that uh, th I think for me, yeah, there it was tough then to get myself back to. To that, to the levels that I was, that I that I was, or that I knew I should be, but I wasn't. Yeah, couldn't do it. Yeah, so you spend another few years there, and you end up moving on to West Ham. Oh my um, god! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, West Ham. Ah, listen. Yeah, and then I, then I move. I moved to West Ham because obviously, same situation. Um, Sam Allardyce, Sam Allardyce at Blackburn. Yeah. Um, like you very much, top player, but as long as this player is fit, you ain't gonna play. So you always mm. play second fiddle because the type of the type of players that I like is the big target man, the yeah. you know, channel players that run into the channels. Thing. If we're losing. Then I might I bring you in to try and change the game for us. So you're always going to come in for me. And I think, yeah, you're talking about a guy that's that's achieved so many things and then the yeah, coach yeah. manager tells you that. And then you think you come to work every day and you look how good you are compared to your teammates. But yeah. you don't have to play because yeah. he prefers a certain way, certain style that you're not that, 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 that guy that, that, that plays, that fits that style for him. Yeah, but when the team is losing, then he brings you in first then change. He then he, come on, the team needs you. Huh? You can change the game for us, but I'm not good enough to start. To so start, yeah. yeah, so it was just everything. It was all at once, you know. Yeah, you didn't get to Chelsea. I stayed here, and now the manager comes in. The manager tells you that's so, a nah. Yeah, so for me, you. it's a lesson. It's time to move on, and and it was time for a new new adventure, new. A new, um, new lease of life, and then I went to West Ham. All brilliant. My first game, opening game against Burnley. I remember correctly. I remember it like it was yesterday. You know how my fortunes just changed. Yeah, my life just flashed in front of me, and then it was fell into a dark tunnel. <laughs> and no coming back from that. <laughs> like. Yeah, we, we're losing 1-0. No. We're losing 1-0 no, and we're playing good. So it's myself and Carlton Coley. Coley up front, um, um, Scotty Parker and Mark Noble in midfield. And yeah. we, we're balling. We're balling Burnley. So now because I played at Blackburn and Burnley and Blackburn is the dog right. there. Yeah. So I'm getting like abuse from the Burnley fan. Yeah. Because a former Blackburn player and get myself into a situation one on one with a goalkeeper goalkeeper comes out and i just goes around him gives him the you know the african little shimmy drop yeah. the shoulder and then 
Boom. Gone. Open goals. I tried to put it in with my left. <laughs> As I put it in, I just hear the knee. I just hear how my knee just popped. Oh, no. Because obviously the, the pitch from Burnley, very hard in there, but the, but the goal, the, the, the goal mouth is like yeah. a dry, hard, rock hard touch. Yeah. So the ball starts to bubble a bit. And I could have had a touch and then just rolled it in. I tried to just put it in like as I, on the, you know, with my left foot. My yeah. Hand. Probably the way I hit the ball, how I, how I just hit it. And I just had, and I just see my knee like this weird. Oh. And the ball goes towards the goal, but not with the, not with the power that I, that I needed it because of yeah. my knee popped. Yeah. And, um, Obiko, 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 the defender, the big, strong African defender. Oh, the yeah, Odebike. Odebike. He, yeah. he, he gets it, he runs and he saves it off the line and the goal clearance and boom, me falling over and I just hold my knee and I screamed and Carlton Cole is shouting them, hey, my knee just popped. Wow. So then they stretch me off and um, get into the dressing room and then they said, ah, listen, it's not, it's not a ligament, it's just the joints just moved out of position, they just need to place, but I'll be out for about six to eight weeks. Yeah. And, oh my God, devastating, devastating for me because that's the first time I have now a major injury. I've never been yeah. injured in my career. So that, you know, all that and, ah, and gone. English football over for me. Um, yeah, the injury, and then not being able to to recover, like recover yeah. from that, and then obviously the problems that West Ham that West Ham was facing in the relegation battles. New owners, new owners came in, um, and it was just this one rubbish player, that bad signing. And yeah, and I was, of course, obviously, I didn't contribute because they did yeah. buy me. They did buy me to to change the club's fortune, try and yeah. get them out of relegation that they were. But obviously, with the injury, that, that just set me off big time. And then, yeah. you know, and then man, it was disputes with the club, the club, Chairman Karen Brady and myself yeah. and, and a few other players also, you know. So then, yeah, eventually things didn't end up so well. Yeah, you know, I, I ended up making no contribution to West Ham, which for that I'm always I'm always going to be bitter, bitter yeah. about that because as a professional, as a as a as a as a person that I am, as a player that I was, you know, it was that was one of the things that I would never, ever want to experience, like you play for a club and then you don't contribute, you know? Yeah, of course. And yeah, that yeah. Was like, that was, that's probably my biggest regret in, in, in my career. So, yeah, so when it, when it ended, it ended on a sour note. So I left, they paid me out and then we yeah. cut our losses and I ended up, okay, what do I do now? So do I retire? Because I don't see me coming back from this knee injury that, that's been haunting me and stuff. So mm. I just returned back to South Africa and then I signed for for the Orlando Pirates. Yeah, the Pirates. Yeah. And yeah. So I still had a bit left in me. It wasn't yeah. West Ham. It wasn't West Ham because I would have loved it to have been West Ham, you know, because mm. it's, it's a fantastic club, good people. Um, and I always wanted to end up on a high, but Unfortunately, it yeah. wasn't meant to be. And then I went to Pirates and then, yeah, I rediscovered my form. I rediscovered the love for playing football again. So that was amazing. Yeah. So that was good. So I did end my career a bit on a, on a high. That's positive. Yeah. So obviously, like you say, you retired from football. You're South Africa's leading goal scorer. You, I remember, well, I've heard that you went into help coaching at Hibs. Um, you also, did you manage Cape Town for a, a little while? Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I, I was at Hibs just before you came to Hibs. Yeah. Um, well, it's Stubbsy. When Stub mm -hmm. You played under Stubbsy, yeah? Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, was, I was at Hibs for a bit. Like, I was doing my coaching badges. And obviously, yeah. my wife is Scottish, so she's from here. So, yeah. um, 
And I was just asking just to shadow and just see how it's done because now, you know, maybe that might be the next part for me, becoming a yeah. coach and, and, and going into management. And, you know, I played against Stubbsy a few times when I was at Everton. So yeah. we got a good relationship. So he allowed me to come back, to come there yeah. and, and then work. And, yeah, I've learned. And, you know, that's how I grew the passion for, okay. So I kind of got a nick for, for coaching and got away with players and know how to start to speak to them and how to make a difference in, in, in their lives. Maybe. I experienced what I you can always relate to, to that, you know, so I've got to laugh at It's funny again, Benny, sorry. Um, am I back? Are you back? Good. So then yeah, I got an opportunity to go. go. So I got an opportunity to go become an assistant coach in Belgium. So I went to Belgium, yeah. in the Belgium, Belgium Premier League for a season. Um, just to mm -hmm. learn the train and get some experience. And that was amazing. You know, we were dubbed to newly promoted club, uh, St. Yeah. Jordan. And we were, we were the bookies favorites to go down straight away. So, yeah, yeah and we, we finished, we finished eight, eight in the first, in our first season. Wow. Yeah. So, we finished, we finished eight, we finished eight. Um, so yeah, so that was good. And then the club, you know, they wanted now to kick on from there. So yeah, the manager yeah. got fired and then they wanted me to stay on, but um, I, I couldn't because he brought me in, he brought me in. So yeah, of course. You know, he's gone and then they want you to continue. So yeah, I you can't do it. Couldn't. So I, I, I had to leave with him. So I left and then I came back to, to Scotland, and then yeah. I was asked to, to become a manager um, in, yeah. in my home my home country in Cape Town, where I was from, mm. and the team where I started, you know, where yeah. I started my seven stars, seven stars that was reformed and then rebuilt into Cape Town Cape Town IX. Yeah. So I got I got there Cape Town Cape Town City, and I started my managerial career, and I've not done so bad, not so bad, so. Yeah. So, hang on, it's just frozen again, Benny. Sorry, I'll keep you one more minute. Can you hear me? I can hear you, mate. I can hear you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so you wait now for your next opportunity? What, is it in, the, in the UK, maybe, to manage next or coach? Um, listen, um, with the diversity, it's difficult, mate. It's difficult. You yeah. Know? You know, it ain't, it ain't easy, but yeah. I'm not one for giving up either. You know, I've, I've made it as a footballer with, with the hardships and difficulties that one has coming from Cape Town, coming from South Africa, disadvantage, disadvantage yeah. um, place then to make it as a footballer. So I think now with, with, with what I've experienced and how life works, how the world works, I think I can, I can achieve that. So, yeah, so I want, I want, to, I want to manage it. And because there ain't a lot of black managers and the yeah. opportunities for us will come. We just, yeah, of course. We just, we just have to, we just have to hustle, mate. We just have to yeah. continue to, to fight the struggles because um, one door will open. When that one door opens and then it will change for everybody else. Yeah. You know? just but be ready. we shouldn't just, we shouldn't just take it because none of us is getting the opportunity and now yeah. we throw in the towels because we never used to do that as footballers. Yeah. So why should we do it now when we want to become managers? So I know no, exactly. it is tough. It is tough out there. It's tough. But um, but we have to persevere and we have to be strong and we have to just keep the fight, man. We have to keep keep believe that yeah. an opportunity will come for one of us, you know? Yeah, whether it's course. me, whether it's someone else, but... Yeah. You know, so that there's more diversity. So then there's more play like um black um ethnic yeah. uh, ethnic minority players coaching because as yeah. players we're good enough as players, but we're not good enough as managers as coaches. So yeah. you know we have to change that dimension. We have to change it, and we got to show that you know with that we tough, that we strong, that we can do it. We can change yeah. it. So that's what yeah, I want to achieve. So.
No, I won't. You've achieved so much already. I, I, I wouldn't put, put my money against you not achieving. Honestly, Benny, you've been absolutely amazing. And I can only thank you from the bottom of my heart for you taking up two hours of your, of your night um, <laughs> to come and speak to me. It's been amazing to go on your journey. Um, no, and pleasure, I'm sure you'll get pleasure. It. Um, Thanks for having me. And thank no, you you've been sure, brilliant. Man. No, exactly. No, honestly, I think everyone would have enjoyed that. And speaking to someone of your pedigree is unbelievable. And, you know, t t the boy said when you're coaching at Hibs, you're absolutely brilliant. So if there's any chairman or if this goes in the newspaper, then hopefully, you know, you you you'll get an appointment because you, you seem like an absolutely great man. And I've heard you're a great coach as well. So just honestly, thank you. Oh, uh, thanks, mate. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And when all this is done, I'm going to come check you out there, Levy. Yeah, no, make sure you do, definitely. <laughs> honestly, it'd be my pleasure, honestly. Yeah, been no, amazing. definitely, man, definitely. No, brilliant, Benny. So listen, stay safe. Likewise, but stay safe, um, stay strong, and yeah, keep fit by the man, okay? Okay, Benny. And Thank all you. the best, all the best for the, rest of the season, for the next season, for the rest of the career, man. We keep in touch. Thank you very much. Oh, I will be, Benny. Bless Take care, brother. brother. Cheers, man. All right, man. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.